Good afternoon, um, Mrs. Abier. We are the students from Olongapolasi School and we are here to make an interview regarding your knowledge and experience as an accounting clerk. Um, to start this short interview, would you kindly elaborate the meaning and purpose of accounting and accountancy based on your experiences as an accountant? Um, when you say accounting, this is a systematic method of uh, reporting, recording, summarizing, and analyzing of all uh, business trans uh, financial transactions of a business. Uh, thank you for that uh, well elaborated explanation. Follow that explanation. What were your primary responsibilities as an accounting clerk? Your primary uh, responsibility is to make sure that uh, all the documents related with the business transaction are intact. And uh, you must uh, have an... Uh, there, there is a weekly, monthly, and uh, annual report for that. So make sure that all of the, the transactions are well recorded. In these responsibilities, there must be at least one or more challenging duties. What do you consider to be the biggest challenge facing the accounting profession today? Uh, for me, the biggest challenge is uh, how to get the trust of your uh, of your boss or the, uh, or the company owner. Uh, it's hard to, to get their trust because uh, from the start uh, we uh, we we just uh, show how we work, and uh, personally, uh, hindi kami magkakilala. So from the start, mahirap. Uh, it's so hard to uh, to show them that you are a trusted trusted person. So for me, that's the the challenge that I encounter during the period of my. Uh, of my uh, uh, working, working within my working period. For the next question, do you consider maintenance of confidentiality a challenge to your profession? Yes, it's important. For what aspects? Uh, being a being an accountant. Uh, uh, it is uh, very important that, that you maintain the confide confidentiality of information of your company. For example, uh, the financial book of accounts. It's, uh, it's, my, it's, it's my responsibility that uh, this book of accounts uh, is uh, intact or in pro, uh, in uh, place it properly in a in a vault that no one can see it uh, except me and the boss. <laughs> and right <laughs> <laughs> to maintain the confidentiality of any information because some employees when uh, when they read the book of accounts and there uh, meron silang for example, uh, parang uh, uh, a little bit galit sa company. Maybe they don't have uh, the same benefits like you. So, the information within that book of accounts, they can use it as a uh, pang uh, pang frame up ganun, sa company to give them the benefits that they want for them. So that's the ano, importante talaga na naka-intact siya lagi and nakalagay siya sa isang vault. Um, for the next, for additional experience sharing, tell us about um, some of your complex projects that you were tasked with completing your, under your deadlines. Complex project? Like, uh, do you go to other companies to to audit? Yeah, yeah like that. Okay. 
Uh, for me, uh, yes, I I go with other branches. Like uh, we have branch in Cagayan de Oro, we have a depot there, and I w I am the one who have been tasked to go there to audit the shipping transaction because uh, we have uh, importation of products from Singapore to the Philippines. So we have a ship agent there and uh, uh, a large of money is involved because uh, we are giving them a large amount of money and then they have to liquidate it properly with corresponding uh, documents attached as a proof that this is their expenses like that. So we have to audit that as an, uh, as an part of accounting. Uh, all of the papers are should be intact with us. In order to maintain your passion to create to a certain profession, you must need values and work ethics. How did you add value to, to your role as, a, as an accounting group? Uh, the good, uh, good values and work ethics for me uh, is being yourself and uh, being a trustworthy person. That's the reason why some other, uh, some other bosses of the company uh, love their employees because of their uh, uh, trusted ethics. Na. Kasi uh, based on my experience, I've been working in our company for 10 years. Since the company opened uh, June 1, 2003, until now, uh, uh, we're only two, uh, two employees then. So, general manager and me as an accounting officer. So, uh, nakita ko yung aming boss uh, from the, uh, kumbaga sa start, hindi pa namin ako ko trust niya. So, as an, uh, as, um, a good uh, a good person, pinakita namin sa kanya how we work well, uh, how they can trust us. So, until now, hanggang sa na-promote na, na-promote na ako being the manager na, from officer to manager. So, until now, uh, continuous uh, continuous pa rin yung pagpapakita ko sa kanila na, na until now, from the start and until now, he can trust me. So, nakita ko kasi na for me, I, I think na I got their trust because they made me uh, one of the board of director of the company. So, Parang yun lang yung naging edge ko. And then, of course, yung pagiging uh, trustworthy mo, uh, you work well. Uh, I, I make sure that all the reports are done before the deadline. And all of the documents that, that they needed is... Uh, showed, uh, I, I showed them uh, with... Uh, accurate reports. So, I think yun yung mga, yun lang yung kailangan ng pagiging accountant. Uh, marami kasi, nowadays marami yung mga accountants na parang accountants lang in words, not in action. So, dapat maging ano tayo, uh, kumbaga meron, meron kaming napag-aralan before, ng college days namin na uh, they show us how to kumbaga, how to doctorate a documents but uh, tinuro nila sa amin yun not not to do that but to, to know when uh, when someday yes how they, uh, how uh, some people did uh, did it yun yung purpose nun, not for us to to do it 
na maging uh, reason na ma-fire ka sa isang work. Uh, so, para makita mo lang, when you're an auditor na makikita mo paano siya binok binoktorate, paano pinalitan yung mga details, yun yung, yung purpose mo. What do you consider the best part of accounting? Best part of accounting? Siguro yung pagkukompute. <laughs> pagkukompute, pag, uh, paghahanap ng a single centavo to, to tally all the, the documents you have against dun sa cash, cash on hand or cash in bank. To tally it. Siguro yun. Inaabot kami ng 9 o'clock ng gabi sa pagkukumpute. Maybe, hindi lahat siguro ng tao ay eh, ano, uh, ganyan yung gusto ng way naman. Pero sa akin kasi, I enjoy it. <laughs> I enjoy how, I enjoy computing, uh, recording all the business transactions. Maybe yun yung pinaka uh, best part siguro para sa akin. Do you believe that in being in being an accountant, you, you need you need to be really good, really really good in math? Ah, uh, not really good, but with knowledge. <laughs> because uh, accounting is just uh, an analysis of all transaction, and then we just apply a basic math, the MDAS. And that's method. But uh, it's primarily a, uh, analyzing transaction. Because you cannot compute if you didn't analyze the transaction, how it is done. So, hindi kayo ng mathematician ka. In ending this interview, what could you say and advice to those who are watching, especially to those who are willing? and motivated to be an accountant someday? Uh, advice? Well, uh, I can advise that uh, they, they must study hard. Uh, have passion in accounting because if you don't have passion, <laughs> It's hard for you to understand what is really accounting. So have passion, and uh, you must love accounting. <laughs> yes. That's the secret. That's the only secret uh, that for you to be able to perform well in 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 uh, accounting. So have passion. And a little bit knowledge in mathematics. Thank you for that message, and we hope this interview could be a medium of intellectual and ethical knowledge. Thank you for having me. It's my pleasure. I am Elita Abiera, and I am proud to be an accountant. <laughs> for this interview, I have learned one thing from this and is how to build yourself because in accounting you need to be passionate to set your mind that you need to do this to be successful one day accounting is not a very hard or very difficult course but then I have realized that it is just a what you call it long work, long time work, but then when we interviewed Mom Edith, it was fun because, you know, like me, students want, student wants to formulate numbers, analyze numbers. I realized that account is really helpful to me to enhance my skills. And for the second, we, um, accounting, Finally, one interview has been finished.
this interview, I have to learn many things from uh, Mom and Eva. I learned that in accountancy, it is not all about numbers, math, computation, calculators, etc. I think that it is about analysis, analysis of data, analysis of data, information. This is where you apply your knowledge in, in what you have learned during your elementary, high school, and college years. This, um, you, you tend to ask yourself, what do you get from learning algebra? What do you get from learning calculus? What do you learn in finding X? For me, this uh, interview serves as the example for, uh, for the answer of your question. This algebra thing in math teaches us how to analyze, how to make our minds grow bigger, make our minds think and move. Yes, we, we, this algebra isn't really applicable uh, in rea reality, but the lesson that you will learn in taking algebra, which is analysis, will be applied to all, in, all of, of, in all of your aspects in life. That is what one thing that I learned from uh, our interview. And one, oh, one thing also is that in uh, being an accountant, you need to have proper work ethics like being trustworthy, uh, being passionate, and being careful in what you do. You need to be smart and, have, and be wise in making such decisions. And yeah, that's that's all that I have uh, learned, truly learned from.